and welcome back to another bright and sunny day here in Erlengrat. If you remember from last episode, we got our field here all sowed. Um, it's still 100% fertilised because uh, obviously we ploughed in the grass last time. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty good. So I got a couple of suggestions from last episode, so thank you very much for that. Um, what I've actually done, um, just in the meantime as well, I went and bought a fertiliser from the shop and did a couple of contracts. Um, just off camera, if I go, where are we? Here we go, so I just did a couple, uh, got 14,300 worth of contracts. Um, now, I did buy quite a big fertiliser, um, perhaps too big. It's got a working width of, I think it's like 40 metres or something ridiculous. Uh, it's it's way too big when it fully um, extends. And obviously we, we don't actually need it at the moment, but, uh, you know, thought it'd be useful to, uh, to get. But yeah, it was pretty expensive, so I thought I'd do a couple of contracts, um, you know, that, that way it earned some of its money back. But we've got quite a few um, here, mo mo mainly fertilising. Uh, which is good. We can definitely do fertilising ones now that we have the uh, the fertiliser. So we've got field nine and field eleven. Um, there's field nine just up there. Uh, I think nine might be a bit nicer to do than eleven. So I'm going to accept that contract. Um, don't obviously need to borrow any. I'll just use my own stuff. Uh, we've got it on the slow tractor, but that's fine because it's got the uh, the narrow tyres so uh, it won't destroy crops. I'm pretty sure because we're going on somebody else's field it wouldn't destroy crops anyway but still. Nice to be doing it properly and it's not very far away just down the road here so in my mind you know just best that we uh, we get it done really. But yeah we've still got a fair bit of money uh, 332,000 but as mentioned by a couple of you guys that isn't actually going to get me very far so um, I really do need to spend every penny of that wisely um, this fertilizer probably wasn't what oh look a car that's that is legitimately the first car I've seen on this map I've had traffic on the whole time but not seen any other vehicles good to know that there are some perhaps there was a an issue with my save or perhaps they just don't go round where uh, where our little farm is, that's also possible. But field 9 just up here. Um, there's a couple of good suggestions on ways to make money. Um, uh, the big one that everyone keeps suggesting is horses. Um, horses apparently are a great way to make money. I've not actually done anything with horses in this game. Um, I've not really done anything with, uh, with animals at all, but Apparently horses are pretty good, um, you buy them for about 5,000 each and then you can sell them on, uh, I think they said for 50,000 after like a week of work or something like that, so it's not old oh, oh thank goodness, <laughs> I thought that car was going to smack into my, uh, oops, my, uh, my fertiliser here, right let's uh, get this started, so yeah just a huge, huge boom here as you can see. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've not really done anything with horses, we'll have to see uh, what that's like. They do take a lot of work though, so I don't know, apparently you need five minutes a day for like a week you need to ride them. Um, five minutes is quite a long time just to trundle around not really doing anything on a horse. Um, and if we're doing that to more than one horse, that could take a bit of time, so I will think about that. Um, another suggestion I got from someone is growing sugarcane. Now, apparently sugarcane does take a long time to grow, um, but once it does grow and you harvest it, it's worth an awful lot of money. So we've only got one field at the moment, um, and obviously that's already been planted by s with some flowers, but definitely something to think about. We could always look at doing it, um, you know, doing it afterwards. That's That's not a problem. Uh, I've just hired a worker so that the fertilizer isn't going down. What's he doing? Oh, and he's stopping for no apparent reason. Maybe I'll do it myself after all then. 
Um, yeah, I've got um, auto buy on for, for workers, so they auto buy everything. I don't think it's that unrealistic, um, to be honest. The uh, reason I say that is because, you know, it, they're a bit like a contractor in my mind, you know. They cost an absolute fortune an hour. Let's get rid of him. Uh, they cost an absolute fortune an hour to uh, to have. Um, but they supply, you know, we've obviously got the machinery, but they supply their own fertilizer. So in my mind, obviously, you know, in the game, it's just buying fertilizer for you. And it just comes straight out of your bank balance. But in my mind, it's a bit like a, a contractor who has bought their own fertilizer to your farm. That's the way I've been looking at it. Right, I really have to zoom out a long way because of this huge, huge boom here. Oh, and I've crashed. Oh, and I'm also not in a great, great position. Here we go. Let's. Right, so that looks just about right. A little bit of overhang, but not too much. So that's brilliant. Let's just back it up. Or not, not like that. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. And. Let's hire a worker again, just so that we uh, it's buying the fertilizer for us. Let's have a look at our funds here. Nope, not there. Here we go. Yeah. So what have we spent on fertilizer so far? Ten thousand pounds I've spent on the cost of fertilizer. Um, obviously, some of that was for our own field, um, but you know, earned fourteen thousand from contracts. Where's yeah wage? payments 3000 so not not too much but I, I think it's fine uh, I'm not too worried about you know using the worker for things like this and the auto buyers I've just explained I don't think it's I don't think it's a problem so I think what we might look at doing though is we might look at buying some more land um, I have been recommended to buy more land whilst I've actually got a decent amount of money um, and we also do have more of a bank loan we can take out. I think this can go up to like 500,000. So we could always take out more of a loan if we need it. Um, but we probably want either field 14 or field 16. Let's find out what's growing. Is that sunflowers? Sunflowers in 16. Okay, how close are they to needing to be harvested? Similar to ours. So we could buy 16 and get some free sunflowers. And they are fully fertilized as well. I think we should do that. How much is 222,000? Done. Perfect. Okay, that's uh, that's brilliant. Oh, car. So uh, wait for them to go past. How close are we on this contract as well? 78%. With the harvest contracts, I like to go all the way because obviously you can sell the extra, you know, crops that you uh, you harvest. You don't have to do the whole thing for it to be a hundred percent. But with fertilizing contracts, you uh, you definitely don't want to do the whole thing because all you're doing is spending more money on fertilizer. So best thing is just to do what you uh, what you need to do. I think. 84%. We did miss a section over there, and I was hoping it wouldn't come back to bite us. We wouldn't have to go back over there, but perhaps we we will. I just don't see the rest of this being 13% is all. Knowing my luck, it will probably stop on 99. So we've now got two fields of sunflowers. Uh, perhaps what we should look at doing. I don't want to buy a combine. I might just lease one. Um, what's going on here? Completed this task. <laughs> Fine. Um, yeah, we might just lease one, I think. Um, and just buy a really, really big sunflower header. So we'll keep the header um, and just lease the combine, I think. Let's collect that little bit of income. Uh, any weeds in these? No weeds. Doesn't need ploughing either. 
fully fertilize, no weeds in it. Do any of these fields have weeds? No, probably not really been long enough. Have I got my growth on fast? Um, normal. Let's change it to fast. Because, um, you know, we, we've only got a few fields. We don't really want to be hanging around. Uh, I think we'll head back to the farm uh, and check out our new piece of land we've got. Probably shouldn't be going over the field. I know we've just just worked on it, so we'll we'll get out to the side. But we uh, we don't really want to be just trampling over the rest of these crops that we've kindly uh, been paid to fertilise, do we? We'll go check out our other field, and then I think what we'll do. Let's just speed up time a little bit um, whilst we're waiting. Because they're not they're not very grown the sunflowers. We'll probably go till uh, I don't know, maybe two three o'clock in the afternoon, and then uh, take a look at the fields again. Sixty three pounds. That's the wage payment, obviously, for that worker we just had helping us for bits and pieces. There, not too much. Not not bad. Obviously, not a not a bad hourly rate for the you know five minutes of work they probably did for us. Eh. Right, 16. So this is our field now. Look at this. Fantastic. I think 16 is probably slightly bigger than 15, but I could be wrong. It's always hard to tell in, uh, uh, you know, Farming Simulator 19, because you buy land around the field as well. It's not just buying the field like it used to be. It's always so hard to tell what fields are bigger just off the price of the land. Um, you know, because as I say, you're buying other bits as well. I know that first bit of land we bought was quite expensive, but then it, it's got all that bit on the side where we've been able to build our little farm area, so it's not really a fair comparison. And this tractor is, is so slow, honestly. I uh, I can't wait to have uh, enough money to buy a, another one. I know I could buy another tractor, but we, we definitely need that money for... Oh, here we go. Let's uh, just slow the time down again. Uh, that doesn't look like the first layer of sunflowers, though. That looks like it might be weeds. Let's uh, change tractors here. Drop that. Yeah, I think that might be weeds. Let's have a quick look on the map. Oh, is it not weeds? Hmm. Let's have a little look here. Oh no, it's fine. No, no weeds there. Very good. Well, in that case, uh, I think what we'll do. Can you buy a header without actually having the combine? We'll go back to speeding up time just whilst we're looking at this. So if we go into the shop. So yeah, we don't we don't want a combine because they're so expensive. I mean, this is the cheapest one, um, but it doesn't hold a lot. It's not really very good. We we don't want to spend our money on that. Really, we want to be leasing one of these, probably one of these huge ones up here. I would have thought. Uh, yeah, probably something like this. We want to be leasing it, um, but we can just buy the header. That's not a problem. Right, we need. Yeah, see these ones that come on a little, uh, you know, a little wheel set. That's what we want. But for sunflowers. Is this the biggest sunflower one? It is. And I don't think it comes with a little one of these. Hmm. Perhaps we will be uh, leasing it then. That's too bad. Any other contracts we can do? Harvest it. Oh, we definitely don't want to be doing that. Field nine. Where's field nine? I bet that's a yeah. That's a pretty big one there. Don't really want to be doing a contract like that. Harvesting field seventeen. Where's seven? Oh, seventeen's the one on the end. We could do some harvesting. Harvesting field three, where's three? We want something round here. Eighteen's ready to be harvested. Is there a contract for eighteen? Oh there is. It's not very much though. Oh and it's uh, it's corn, so the same header that we would uh, we would use for ours. Uh, I think what we'll do let's see if we can 
sleep till the night. It's only six o'clock, I know, but we'll see if we can sleep. Or, in fact, what we'll do before we uh, we see if we can sleep, let's go to the shop and buy a trailer, because we're going to need a trailer either way. We That's not something we're going to be leasing. We are going to be purchasing that. So let's head over to the shop and look for a tractor. Um, a trailer, sorry. And we'll uh, we'll keep the time up whilst we're doing it, I think. Oh, sorry, crops. Did I? I might have trampled a few there. This uh, yeah, keyboard is quite hard to to drive with. Oops, because I find that you're just on full lock as soon as you press A or, or D for left and right. You're just on full lock, so it's uh, a bit of a nightmare, really. There we go. Oh, street lights. It looks nicer uh, at night time. Look at that. Let's pop our normal lights on here. 50 zone. I wish I could be doing 50 in this tractor. Oh. Honestly, this seems like a good place to slow time down as well. Ah, oh, here's the rest of our fertilizer from last time. I forgot we still had that there. Right, trailer. We don't need anything huge. 12,000, 10,000, 14,000. Let's maybe go there. 21,000, that looks good to me. Very nice, 21,000. Um, I guess that doesn't matter. And we want Michelin tyres, Lizard tyres, or Trailborg. I will just leave it as standard. Exactly as it comes. Perfect. And let's hook up. I really wish those cars weren't weren't there. They don't make it easy, do they? Uh, and let me just turn the back light on. There we go. Otherwise I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Perfect. Off. Here we go, right. And off we go. The brand new trailer. See if we can uh, open it up. Very good. Look at that. Exceptional. Right, I'm going to head back to the farm and I'm going to sleep, um, wait till tomorrow and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back tomorrow, uh, the next in-game day, and uh, we'll see how our crops are looking from there, our two fields of sunflowers. So yeah, uh, back in a little bit. And we're back. It is uh, just past 6am, our sunflowers have grown some more, um, they're nearly ready to be, uh, or, or are they ready to be harvested? Possibly, they're very close, they do have weeds in them, oh they are ready to be harvested, excellent, but they've got weeds in them, so, uh, weeds, if I go to, oh it's somewhere, Somewhere it tells you exactly, oh gosh, if I know where it is though. Somewhere, ah, here we go. Improving yield, right. So to obtain a 65% yield, you must spread fertilizer twice, which we've done. Uh, spread lime every three harvests. Now we've done that because it says it doesn't need lime. So 65%, brilliant. Now to avoid 35% loss, so um, I guess really it's 100, but you'll lose 35 if. Uh, so you must remove bad weeds and you must plough after. So we did plough, so that's fine. But to, we're losing 20% for having the weeds in there. So I think before we harvest, because these are big fields, uh, we want to get some herbicide and get rid of them. Now, I believe I can put it in here. So if we empty out, there we go. You just press I to, to empty that. So if we head to the shop and buy some herbicide, I believe I'm going to be able to spray both of these fields, hopefully kill off the weeds, and then we can harvest and get 100% from both fields. That's the plan. So 
yeah, let's. Oh, this tractor's so slow. Remember when I uh, I told you guys that I wouldn't be using this tractor to go round and about? I would just be uh, going up and down in the field. So the fact that it had a top speed of 15 wasn't a problem. Yeah, don't I feel silly now? Yeah, well, we'll head to the shop, we'll buy some herbicide, and then we'll head back again. Okay, here we go then. Let's get this uh, this underway. Are we trampling these? No, because of our crop row tires. Very good. Right. Now we don't necessarily need to get 100% of the field, although it would be it would be nice. Let's. Right. Here we go. Let's. Oh, I'm the worst at reversing. Okay, we're go you know what? We're going to miss that corner. It's, it's fine. That, that corner's still going to have weeds. What, one of those things. Right, here we go. Here we go. Right, let's... Oh. Is this not working? Hmm, it does not seem to be working. Why is it not working? Um, where's removing weeds section? You guys probably know exactly where it is. Crops, plowing, sowing, harvesting, da da da. So it's not improving yield. Yeah, I, I get that, but what about. not under animals it's not under forestry forestry production recap lime and herbicide these can be bought from the shop that's not exactly helpful hmm I'm I'm not sure um, I was under the impression do I need to... Hmm. I was under the impression that this herbicide would kill the weeds, but have I left it too late? I've possibly left it too late. What's it say about it in the shop? Herbicide. Herbicide can be sprayed to remove weeds. Hmm. Maybe I needed a weeder. Um, where's there's weeders around somewhere? Oh, again, you guys, I know exactly where it is. I'm probably looking at it. Um, weeders. Where where's weeders on here? Honestly, like. Under disc arrows. It's not under here, is it? No, this this just turns grass. This is no good. Hmm. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's just not worry about it. We'll we'll lose some some yield. It's fine. Just bought a herbicide tank for, for nothing, but there we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just lose some yield. It's not not a big deal. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's kind of sad, but <laughs> what, what are you going to do, hey? How much do sunflowers even sell for? Let's at least look at that. Where are we, sunflowers? 1,400? Yeah, well, we got two fields. Uh, and it's only 20% we're going to be losing, because uh, they've got mature weeds in them. 
they they literally they just came overnight um obviously you know you guys saw in the last the last clip i i slept um i think i slept for like 10 hours nine hours something like that um to bring the time to, to six o'clock and then they were just there 100 percent Is it going to give me any beads 100 percent it's, it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine here's here's what we're gonna do let's um let's just rent our equipment uh we're gonna be absolutely fine so harvester so we want one with a nice um a nice big one like like how much would something like this cost to rent Oh, twenty thousand pounds is a lot to rent. Let's okay, maybe let's not rent one that big. What about what about like this one? How much would this cost around fourteen? Fourteen thousand is still a lot. Like I'm not going to make a lot of money off of uh, off of this yield here. What's this capacity? Ten thousand. Eight. Okay, right. This one I think. All right, ten thousand pounds to lease it. Oh, do we buy one? Oh, if I buy one, I can do other jobs, I guess, can't I? Oh, they don't, they don't make my life easy. Um, oh, there are a lot of harvesting jobs. Well, I mean, there's not a lot of jobs full stop at the moment, but there are a lot of harvesting jobs. How much money can I borrow? I think it's 500,000 it stops you at. Yes, yeah, so 334. Four thousand. Okay. Oh gosh. Um. Right. Let's just buy the header for it. Biggest sunflower one we've got. I think was this one. Yeah. Yeah. This is the biggest one. Twelve. Twelve meter working width is huge. Perfect. Buy that. Excellent. Good stuff. And now the combine. Right. How much we got? Two hundred. Oh gosh. Two hundred eighty-seven thousand. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be this one. Standard or wide? Are oh, we? We'll just go standard. We don't need. Oh, that might have been a, a terrible idea. Let's um. No, no. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy. This thing is huge. But it's not not as big. Big as I would have wanted is all. That's, um... Can I grab that from there? Nope. Oh, there we go. The thing is, this is a bit. Why, why does this one not come? Because a lot of them come on a. I'm not even going to be able to get out of here. A lot of these uh, harvester heads come on a trailer when they're really big, because um, obviously you can't drive down the road like this, but my one doesn't. This thing's huge. If a car comes the other way, I'm toast. I take up more than the whole road. Oh, oh gosh. Um, let's just... I'm not going to be able to go through that. Sorry, farmer. I'm, I'm really sorry. Just gonna have to trample your crops. I'm sorry. Um, there's there's no other way. There's no other way. Okay. Oh, oh I was so worried about the tree. I hit the lamp post. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We'll be fine. Luckily, we live very close to the shop. Otherwise, goodness me. Um, oh no. Hmm. Why? Why are they gonna make everything so difficult? Why? Why can't I just? I'm gonna to have to go into this field here. Look, so I, I can't get through there. Sorry, farmer. I'm glad they're not my fields, because otherwise I'd lose. I'd lose all these crops. I'd be trampling them. But where they're not mine, crop destruction doesn't doesn't count. I guess to save you just destroying everyone else's stuff, but. Oh my word. Here we go, here we go. And finally, we should be here. We are. Excellent. Right, okay. 
Right, let's look at getting this uh, getting this started then. Um, oh, I'm told. Whoops. Yeah, you're quite right. Okay, here we go. Making money now. Oh, this is very good. So yeah, so we are going to be losing 80%. I don't mind. It's fine. Um, we should still get a lot of sunflowers. Hang on, work I just take over a second whilst I take a look in here. Um, where was it? Sunflowers. £1,400. And we've got two pretty big fields full. Um, where, where are we going to be selling them? Where, where is that? The Felsburn Grain Mill. Where is the Felsburn Grain Mill? We're not in for oh, Felsman Grain Mill. Oh, it's as as far away as you can possibly get. Okay, not a, not a problem. Not a problem. Um, all right, I think what we'll do we'll time lapse a bit of this and um, wait for it to fill up, and then we can always get the uh, get the tractor going next to it, and uh, and we should be good to go. So yeah, we'll time lapse a bit of this. I'll just get everything in position, and then we uh, will be good to go. Okay, so that was a little bit awkward. Um, drove all the way over, as you've seen, to uh, to where it said the sell point was, um, and it actually looks like uh, it's only accessible by train. Um, so I crashed into the world border, um, so that was embarrassing. Now I've come to this silo here, assuming, well, assuming I can get in it. I've come to this silo here, assuming that I've got to put the grain in there in order to uh, to go ahead and sell it via the train. Um, but I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. Uh, I remember from FS17 there was one sell point which was uh, obviously train only, so you had to put it in the train uh, and sell it, which was fine, but obviously we don't own this train, I don't think. It just goes around, like it's not here waiting for me like it, it used to be. Oh, there it is, look. Um, okay, so if I just dump them all in here, so this isn't selling them, which is fine. I do want to test to make sure that obviously we can sell them here, and if we can, I'll just go ahead and you know load the whole of the rest of it up. Right. Okay. Um, maybe I need to. Ina I probably don't have switch to trains on. Hang on. No, I don't. There we go. Switch to trains. Ah, very good, okay. Stop. Train is now available. Yes. Is this where I am? Where, where am I on the map? I don't even know. Um, oh, no, I've gone... Stop, train, stop. I think I'm going to have to go all the way back again. 
yeah, I just want to test that this works. Um, so I want to put the sunflowers in the 21,000 litres that I've got. I want to put those in. I want to sell them over over at the sell point, hopefully, just to make sure it all works and I get money for it. Uh, and if it does, um, then that's fine. I can just go ahead and um, cart the whole rest of them over here um, you know, and do it all in one go because the train can hold, you know, loads and loads way more than the the trailer can so that's fine so let's just head back here we go right slow down slow down okay too much too much too much too much train okay these trains are well oh, they're they're a bit of a nightmare um their their brakes don't really work right here we go right start filling Sunflower, perfect. Here we go. Right, so this is looking good. This is looking like how it was in. Uh, let's get rid of that in FS17. So I like that. Twenty-one thousand. Right. Okay. We're just gonna make sure that it sells. So, uh, and also it'd be interesting to see how much we get. So I think the price is still stable. I've stopped the the work in the combine for now, as you may have seen when I tabbed over to the train. Um, that's just because he was about to be full, so I just sacked him because I had to drive all around the map, basically. I've tagged the cell point. You can see the the beacon over there. So I don't know if I just have to drive through it or... Because, again, on, on FS17, obviously, the map, the, the train line around the map was just a big circle. So you kind of just went around. You stopped at a place you know like this um and and then you unloaded it was it was no problem but here is a little bit different because the train line just goes through the map so again i don't know am i going to crash into the world border like i did with the the car i hope not because that was embarrassing or with the tractor rather um do i have to you know stop it at the right point and then unfill it i don't know i've i've not done it before so we'll we'll find out together if if you guys also don't know so we're getting kind of close, so I'm going to start slowing the train down now, because as we know the brakes on the train are rubbish. So we'll slow it down. It might be that I just have to, you know, simply drive through this cell point. I don't know, because the cell point... Oh! The train will now drive to Felsman and will return to the other side of the map. Do you want the train to sell? Oh, yes I do. Oh, okay, so it is as easy as that. 29,000. That seemed like an awful lot of trouble for twenty nine, nearly thirty thousand pounds, didn't it? Goodness me! Um, oh, and that was nearly like the whole of one field. Oh, who was it that convinced me to buy a two hundred thousand pound combine rather than leasing it? I should have just leased one of the really big ones for twenty k, shouldn't I? Right, it's okay, it's okay, it's all good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of both of those fields uh, harvested. And then I'm going to put the harvest from both of the fields into this silo. Because uh, the silo is actually really close to the field. The field is just up here. So we'll do that. Um, assuming that the price stays where it is and that that's still the best one to sell it at. I think it will because it's quite a lot higher than the others. So we'll do that. Um, and then I'll bring you guys back as we're ready to sell the whole lot. Okay. Okay, okay. All done. Let's start filling up this. Uh, it was about one and a half trailer loads, I believe. So uh, not too bad. We'll probably get fairly similar to uh, to the last one. I don't think the price has changed much. Sunflowers, no, fourteen, seventeen. So no, it's it's pretty much where it was before. So here we go with the train again. So. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I can just go full speed ahead, and when it gets to the end, it'll kick me out and let me sell it like it did last time. Uh, that's my understanding of it, so not too bad. A bit sad to think that we lost, obviously, you know, about 20% of the yield because of the weeds that we tried getting rid of, but for some reason, maybe it's because the crop was fully grown. You probably can't, um, can't spread herbicide on it when the crop is ready to be harvested. It probably has to be growing, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, we did obviously a first train of uh, 21. This one's 36, so 57,000 litres. Um, so what, 10% would be 5,700. So about 11,000 litres we, 
we missed from having the weeds there. So that's quite a lot when you think about it. 11,000 litres. It's 1.4 each. Um, you know, that's, that's a lot of money. 11,000 litres. It's about 50. Well, it's probably about fifteen, sixteen thousand pounds we missed out on altogether, roughly. Uh, I'm sure there'll be someone in the comments that works it out exactly to the penny. Um, I would imagine because you know there are a lot of people out there that are a lot better at doing maths than I am off the top of my head like that. But here we go. Uh, yep, we do want to sell, and um, fifty-two thousand, not too bad. So we're up to one hundred and sixty-six. Um, obviously we did end up taking a, uh, a bank loan out in order to buy a lot of that combining equipment, but um, that's not too bad. So I think we'll leave it there for today, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. And next episode, we will look into planting a new crop here um, and probably exploring some new revenues of income. So let me know if you've got any good suggestions and thank you for watching.